My father is my father. My father is my father. You're dead. In his latest appearance on The View, Meghan McCain pressed Bernie Sanders on the issue of bipartisanship and whether or not he would be willing to reach across the aisle and work with any Republicans. Now, I find this line of questioning absolutely absurd for a couple of different reasons. First of all, the onus is always on Democrats, for whatever reason, to reach across the aisle to Republicans. It's never the opposite. Like, Republicans are never expected to reach across the aisle and work with Democrats. They can be as obstructionist as they want, and that's fine. But when it comes to Democrats, you better have a plan to work with Republicans. Out of everyone, Bernie Sanders has been probably the most effective at reaching across the aisle. The resolution to end U.S. complicity in Saudi's genocide in Yemen, that was led by Bernie Sanders and Ro Khanna, but in the Senate, Bernie teamed up with a Republican, Mike Lee, who is pretty far right. He's a Tea Party member. So of all people, Bernie shouldn't get this question out of all the politicians. And second of all, maybe ask Republicans this question, but I'm already getting too far ahead of myself. Let's watch the clip. And then I'll discuss this a little bit more when we come back. I am I'm generally curious about bipartisanship. Can you well, name one? Johnny email? Isaacson of Georgia, who's recently retired. I was like, he's retired. Johnny is a very, you're but, dead with somebody but, but, I work but with. But they're dead and now not, it's Johnny not is anymore. not dead. I know, but he's not, he's leaving. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's leaving. retiring. They resign, they retire. Yeah. Look, even somebody like a George W. Bush, who was mm -hmm. a very conservative okay, anyone guy. anyone in office. That, you, that If you were president, that you would work with on the other side. Lamar Alexander. Okay. All right, Lamar is head of the committee that I'm on, the Health Education Labor Committee. Mm -hmm. Lamar is a conservative Republican. Lamar is not a liar. Lamar is not a sexist. Mm -hmm. He's not a racist. He's not a homophobe. He's a conservative guy. It's mm -hmm. called American politics. So I, you know, work with your dad. I work with other people on issues where we can come together. That's what I think American politics is supposed to be about. Mm -hmm. But you have a president today, and again, it gives me no joy to say this. He is a pathological liar. Yeah. And when people ask me, you know, what do you think about what Trump said five minutes ago in a tweet, I say, I'm not gonna say anything because 10 minutes from now he's gonna change his view. Mm -hmm. I can't comment. Yeah. This is not the kind of temperament or personality that we should have in the White House, Absolutely in my view. Absolutely. Meghan McCain irritates me to no end. Because, I mean, again, as I stated, why is it that Republicans are never expected to reach across the aisle? With Mitch McConnell as the Senate Majority Leader, shouldn't we be asking them especially when they're going to reach across the aisle? And furthermore, let me just say this. We are in a highly polarized political environment. So... Forgive me for not giving a damn about bipartisanship. We can't work with Republicans. They're too extreme. So if you want to accomplish anything, you just have to beat them. That's it. You have to beat them. Where are you going to find common ground with Republicans on the issue of climate change? They don't believe in climate change. And the ones that claim they believe in climate change deny anthropogenic climate change, which is just as bad. Well, the climate's always changing. No, the climate is changing at a rate that's accelerated because of us. When it comes to the minimum wage, it hasn't been raised since, what, 2009? They don't want to raise it. Democrats do. How do you work with them when it comes to health care? They seemingly want to undo what little progress we've made with the Affordable Care Act. Bernie Sanders wants Medicare for all. Where do you find the middle ground there? When it comes to student loans, Bernie wants to cancel them. Uh, Trump wants to cancel a select number of student loans for veterans that are disabled. So, I mean, I guess maybe there's some room for common ground right there. But, you know, Trump is here on this issue and Bernie is way over here. So do you understand there isn't very much room in this highly polarized environment because Republicans are off the spectrum. They're crazy. Both parties are right wing. But the Republican Party is way out there when Democrats are on the center right. And there's just no room. And the problem is that when you have two neoliberal parties, whenever there is bipartisanship, whenever they come together, most of the time... It's to fuck us over. It's to, you know, deregulate Wall Street, bail out the big banks. That's when they come together. And that's the problem with bipartisanship. So, you know, as a rich celebrity who got that job you have due to nepotism because of your father, you see, the thing is, even though bipartisanship might sound good on paper because it makes you feel good, it makes it seem like we're all coming together and holding hands and singing Kumbaya, I don't care about the concept of bipartisanship. 
And Bernie Sanders, he made a really important point. He said, I am willing to work with them, I'm paraphrasing of course, to accomplish things that will help the American people. Meaning, I am not just going to reach across the aisle for the sake of reaching across the aisle in the spirit of bipartisanship. If they are going to come to my side and work with me on an issue that actually benefits people, I'm all for it. But if they're not, then uh, no, sorry, no bipartisanship. And I love how Meghan McCain was like, okay, give me some names. I want some names. Who are you going to work with? Again, this is a double standard. Republicans can be as obstructionist as pretty much any party at any point in American history, and it's still Democrats who are expected to work with them. How ludicrous is that? So I wanted to just point this out because it irritated me, and I think that Bernie Sanders had a good response. You know, Bernie is the one person who has reached across the aisle, but he's done it in ways that doesn't compromise his overall agenda. When Democrats like uh, Joe Crowley, for example, or Tim Ryan reach across the aisle, we know it's exactly to benefit our capitalist overlords. When Bernie does it, it's for the good of the people when, you know, the Republican Party shockingly chooses to be reasonable. That's rare, but it does happen. And when it has happened, Bernie has led the charge. Another example is his 2017 bill with Amy Klobuchar that would allow us to import cheaper prescription drugs from Canada. That was the one that Cory Booker infamously voted against. Um, Ted Cruz was on board with that. So every once in a while, if Republicans get on board with our progressive policy proposals, that's fine. A-OK. -okay. But if you're expecting us to go over to their side, to shift to the right, to accommodate whatever bipartisan thing you want to happen, it's not going to happen. So let it go, because unless they are going to come to our side, there will not be bipartisanship because we are polarized and for good reason. They're loons, and we live in reality. I mean, my father, 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 my father